advancement of women's leadership and political participation. First, as the only country in East and Southern Africa to have a woman as head of state, but also as one with a strong women's representation in the parliament. Despite these advancements made towards achieving the 50-50 gender representation of parity, the underrepresentation of women in leadership and in decision-making roles still remains quite low. And this is due to many factors, including gender gaps in laws and policies, lack of capacity and necessary skills among women due to inadequacies and inequalities in the past, violence against women in politics, gender stereotypes, cultural practices and attitudinal norms that suggest women should not have
taarifa zinazohusu uchaguzi na siasa zilizochakatwa kwa misingi ya kijinsia kwa mfano tujue wanawake wangapi wamegobea wanawake wangapi wamegobea ni vijana wanawake wangapi wamegobea ni watu wa ulimavu watukie maeneo gani wana kazi gani ya elimu ni muhimu sana kupata taarifa hizi ili kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba tunakuandaa programu za kusaidia wanawake na vijana na wengi wenye wako kujiunga katika nafasi za maamuzi tunakuwa tunajua tatizo liko wapi na mtumi gani kati ya haya makundi ambayo yanayo kazi yanapata changamoto sahihi kwa hiyo ndio maana hii changamoto ya ndani ni muhimu sana na ni muhimu sheria yetu ikaweka utaratibu wa kuhakikisha tunapata takwimu ambazo zimechakatwa kwa misingi ya kijinsi jinsia na maeneo mbalimbali kwa hiyo sasa hizo ndio changamoto ambazo zipo tumeona mafanikio yetu na tunaona changamoto ambazo tunazo kwa hiyo twende sasa tukaziangalie mmoja baada ya nyingine na kwa wake wapo wapo wale na kusana kupoteza vitabu zao yao mtu anaweza akamwambia huku hakuwa na circumstances mtu anaambiwa vitabu zake ile za kupiga kura kwa hiyo kusudi na kuna kikwazo cha yeye kwenda kuipata hiyo kadi yake kwenda kupiga kura kwa hiyo hilo ndio pendekezo ambalo tunalitoa kuna kitu kinaitwa uh, uh, zamana ya gharama ya uchaguzi security for cost uh, ukishinda uchaguzi na ukawa una uhakika kwamba uchaguzi unataka uh, uh, kupinga unataka kupinga matokeo ya uchaguzi labda kuna namna fulani umeona hatua imetendeka kwa mfano kama unakumbia ukumbi tunafahamu kwamba rais hawezi kaenda kupinga matokeo ya kwa hiyo rais hawezi kupinga matokeo lakini kwenye ubunge na udiwani unaweza kwenda kupinga matokeo lakini ili uende kupinga matokeo unatakiwa ulipe bilioni tano kwa kila mtu anayemstaki. Kwa unamstaki kwa mfano unamstaki mgombe ya mgombe mgombe naye, unamstaki mgombezi wa tume, unamstaki mwanasheria mkuu wa serikali. Kwa hiyo sababu hawa lazima washtaki kwa pamoja. Natakiwa nimlipie nilikuwa na mgombe naye milioni tano, nimlipie mtu wa neki mkuu wa serikali milioni tano. Natakiwa nimlipie mtu kutoka ofisi ya hiyo ni milioni 10 na 3. Kwa kwa kuni. Kwa ulivani na kitabu changu kwa hiyo kwa hiyo watu wote ambao nataka ni waunganishe kwenye kesi labda ni wapeni tano kama nataka kupiga matokeo ya bunge au tano kama nataka kupiga kupiga matokeo ya ulivani na sheria hii imeenda mbele ikasema kwamba kwa watu ambao hawana fedha wanaweza wakaomba mahakama wasamehewe hiyo wasamehewe hilo swala zima la ya hiyo la hizo ni la hizo hiyo ndio ndio maana ya gharama ya shauri na uchafu hivi pendekezo ni kwamba hii 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 ni swala zima lenyewe tu hii amount ni kubwa sana na ina watu ina wazima moto ama ina inawashusha mumka wale ambao wanajisi uchaguzi wao kufanyika vizuri lakini wanaona kwamba haki imetendeka ipo na kupata haki na pia mtu hawezi kuwa mawakika kama yeye ni kiomba in at the political level, uh, we all know that Tanzania um, women are represented 37.4%, um, and in cabinet um, we have representation at 30%, um, and women are leading significantly in um, key ministries. We have also over 45% of women. Uh, judges um, in uh, judiciary. Um, we have quite a number of progress has been made. But I think within that context, as we will see from the analysis and the reason why we are here, is that there are only 10% of women um, in the current parliament that have been directly uh, elected from um, constituencies and only 6.5% of women councillors have also been directed um, uh, through the board level. Yes, it will be kind of a mess. When you want to go to the chili, 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 when you want Thank 
awazungumzi unakuta anataka kugombea lazima atembee na mwenyekiti afanyaje lakini hauna sehemu ambayo wataenda kuzungumza kwa hiyo kama waandishi wa habari tunapata changamoto hizo kama jamii inapata changamoto hizo na wanasiasa pia wanapata wawekewe madawati ya jinsia wajue kabisa ukipata tatizo wana ripoti wapi wanafanya refu nani yemfaa wapi kesi zimeshindikana anaenda wapi na anatakiwa paka apate haki yake hilo moja lakini swali lingine nimeona kuna changamoto ya fedha kwa wanaume at least angalau mtu anajua uchumi wa Tanzania wanaume ndio wengi wako katika uchumi mkubwa sana kuliko wanawake natamani itengenezwe ruzuku maalum kwa wanawake kwa maana mwanamke mimi ndio kugombea vyama viwe na ruzuku maalum kwa ajili ya kusupport wana wale wanaogombea sasa kwa maana mimi tausi mbona ndio nataka kugombea lakini sina pesa lakini nikienda katika chama changu labda kuna mfuko ambao una wakomodeti wakombea wapya napewa pale kiwango kidogo hata kama kwa refund baadaye taratibu taratibu kama tunamfanya labda unapotoka usoma chuo kikuu mimi unapewa fedha unasoma na wao hivyo hivyo kwa na ruzuku kama nataka kuirudisha hata bila riba baadaye lakini nawezeshwa pale sasa naingia katika siasa kama nitakapofika mbele labda nitarudisha au vipi na nitategemea kwa hivyo vyama vitengeneze utaratibu kama ni serikali kuu itaweza kuwafanya sana kama rais wa bunge na maniwani katika maelezo sijaona sehemu ambapo umeweka sifa kwenye wagombea tunataka usawa lakini asijaidishwe zile sifa kwa sababu mwisho wa siku watu wanaweza akateuliwa mtu wakasema hana sifa afai atoshi maana yake mara nyingi inaonekana inaonekana wanawake tunakosa nafasi kutokana na kutokuwa na sifa sasa mimi nadhani pia ili twende sawa zingeainishwa sifa za mgombea wa rais huyo mwanamke na mwanamke yani sifa zao kama rais yake mwanamke makamo hivyo lazima kuwe na sifa zake alikadhalika kwa upande wa tume ya uchaguzi hao ambao wanatakiwa wachague na unga mkono kwamba wa, 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 waombe hizo nafasi na waweze kuchague ni haki iweze kutendeka lakini sifa zao ziweke sehemu nyingine ambayo napenda kutoa maoni yangu ni kuhusiana na swala la tunajiuliza kwa nini wanawake wengi washiriki au namna gani tumesahau sana kuangalia swala la rushwa kwa sababu unakuta kwamba kama wazangu waliotangulia kwamba nafasi nyingi zinaenda kwa wanaume kwa sababu wengi wanajikuta wana uwezo mzuri kiuchumi wa kipesa sasa unapokwenda kupambana mwanamke na mwanaume mwanamke anashindwa anarudi nyuma na tunaona wanawake wanaogopa kupambana na wanaume kwenye chaguzi hasa za majimbo kutokana na kutokuwa vizuri financial wako tofauti sasa hili nalo limeangaliwa na tunasoma na kauli ya kuchangia kuna maoni yangu binafsi na swali kidogo katika kipengele cha muswada wa sheria ya uchaguzi wa rais wa bunge na manaona tumeifika kwenye swala ile la changamoto ya wakati wa kijinsia. Ah kwa mzamo wangu ninaona kwamba unajua tatizo la wakati wa kijinsia ni ndani ya kwenye ngazi ya familia. Tunapopata viongozi katika ngazi mpaka ya taifa tatizo tunaanzia chini. Eh hapa namaanisha kwamba eh kwa tafiti ndogo ambazo nimezifanya Uh, idadi kubwa ya wanawake ni wazuri sana katika utendaji japo si wazungumzaji sana ikilinganishwa na wanaume wanaume wanazungumza sana lakini katika utendaji wanawake wako vizuri zaidi kwa utafiti wangu na hii inadhihirisha kutokana na ngazi ya familia kwa maana kwamba mzazi au wazazi wote wawili mtakapo toa thamani sawa ya mtoto wa kike na wa kiume tangu akiwa na umri mdogo ina maana katika makosi yake utapata kiongozi bora na hakutakuwa na kukatili wa yeye yote kwa mtoto au kwa kiongozi wa kike au wa kiume so the question is you you should do our best to answer and then Victoria can provide some technical detail that we might not be 100% aware So let me start and I'll try to be brief but you have raised a lot of issues 
and I generally try to answer questions that are posed. So please uh, bear with me. First of all, we have invited you to share with you this study as representatives of media, so you can inform the population of this country that a study has been prepared, commissioned, developed by the United Nations system led by UN Women on these important issues. And we hope that you will do that. There is a report which is shared with you that goes beyond this presentation, which by the way answers a lot of questions that you have just raised. However, I'm very happy that actually today we are also having a discussion, maybe even a debate, on some of these points. Because that's what's happening now in the country exactly under the leadership of the Parliamentary Committee, you know. So, thank you for your contributions. And also thank you for exercising your professional role in sharing this content with the people of Tanzania. The advancement of women's leadership and political participation. First, as the only country in Eastern Southern Africa to have a woman as head of state, but also as one with a strong women's representation in the parliament. Despite these advancements made towards achieving the 50-50 gender representation of parity, the underrepresentation of women in leadership and in decision-making roles still remains quite low. And this is due to many factors including gender gaps in laws and policies, lack of capacity and necessary skills among women due to inadequacies and inequalities in the past, violence against women in politics, gender stereotypes, cultural practices and attitudinal norms that suggest women should not have a role in public life. This Mkuu chuo cha Kilimanjaro Institute of Technology and Management kilichopo Mwenge Dar es Salaam na chenye tibati na usajili wa NACVET number Reggie Mkwaju ANE Mkwaju 029 anapenda kuwatangazia ofa maalum wa hiti wote wa kidato cha 4 2023 kwa kozi mbali mbali za kompyuta zikiwemo computer application ICT for beginners PC maintenance video production graphics and design pamoja na CCTV camera kozi hizi zitaanza tarehe kumi na moja mwezi wa kumi na mbili elfu mbili shulini na tatu kwa awamu ya kwanza na tarehe nane mwezi wa kwanza elfu mbili shulini na nne kwa awamu ya pili pia muhula mpya wa masomo kwa kozi za IT business hotel management na front office utaanza tarehe kumi na nane januari elfu mbili shulini na nne kwa maelezo zaidi tupigie sifuri saba moja saba nane moja sita sifuri tatu nne na sifuri saba sita sita tatu nne nane sita tano mbili KITM Elimu na ujuzi ni msingi imara